inventory pressure is less than the low pressure setting. To reset the low pressure alarm, press the silence reset button twice. Now we'll take a look at the equipment alarms. The battery low alarm occurs when the ventilator is operating on internal battery power and the battery charge level drops below the low threshold. When a battery low alarm occurs, the battery level LED is yellow. The battery low message is displayed and the audible alarm is sounded. To reset the battery low alarm, press the silence reset button twice. When the battery reaches the low level, the ventilator will run for approximately 30 minutes on nominal settings. The actual run time may be more or less depending on ventilator settings, patient demand, and battery age. The battery empty alarm occurs when the ventilator is operating from internal battery power and the battery charge level drops below the empty threshold. This alarm can be temporarily silenced but cannot be cleared. When a battery empty alarm occurs, the battery level LED is red, the battery empty message is displayed, and the audible alarm is sounded. When the battery reaches the empty level, the ventilator will run for approximately seven minutes at nominal settings. Actual running time may be more or less depending on the settings, patient demand, and battery age. To temporarily silence the battery empty alarm, press the silence reset button. The battery empty alarm cannot be reset until the battery is recharged or external power is connected. The power low alarm occurs when the ventilator is operating on external battery power and the voltage drops to the low level. When a power low alarm occurs, the power low message is flashed in the display window. The external power LED is displayed yellow. The audible alarm is sounded. To reset the power low alarm, press the silence reset button twice. The power lost alarm occurs when the ventilator is operating on external power and switches to the internal battery. The change to internal battery is made when the external power voltage drops below the usable level. There is no interruption in ventilation. When a power lost alarm occurs, the power lost message is flashed in the display window. The external power and charge status LEDs are turned off. The battery level LED is lit, showing the internal battery charge level. The ventilator begins operating from the internal battery. The audible alarm is sounded. After 60 seconds, the displays are turned off to conserve battery power. To reset the power lost alarm, press the silence reset button twice. The high oxygen pressure alarm occurs when the average oxygen inlet pressure exceeds the acceptable limit for the type of oxygen source being used. If the low pressure oxygen source is selected, the maximum inlet pressure is 10 PSIG. If the low pressure oxygen source is not selected and the FiO2 is set to greater than 21%, the maximum inlet pressure is 75 PSIG. When a high pressure oxygen alarm occurs, the high pressure oxygen message is flashed in the display window and the audible alarm is sounded. To silence the alarm, press the silence reset button, adjust the oxygen inlet pressure, then press the silence reset button again to reset the alarm. The ventilator inoperative alarm occurs when the ventilator is switched from on to standby or the ventilator detects any condition that is deemed to make the ventilator unsafe. When an in-op alarm occurs, the ventilator shuts down and sets the hardware to a safe state so the patient can breathe room air. Inspiratory flow is stopped and the exhalation valve is opened, allowing the patient to breathe spontaneously from room air. The oxygen blending solenoids are closed. The in-op LED is illuminated red. The audible alarm is sounded continuously. To silence the in-op alarm, press the silence reset button. An in-op alarm is generated as part of the normal process of switching the ventilator off and does not indicate a problem. The in-op LED will remain lit for approximately 15 minutes 
and does not affect battery life. The locked message is displayed when a button is pressed while the controls are locked. No audible alarm is given. When a locked message is displayed, the locked message is flashed in the display window for five seconds or until the controls are unlocked. To unlock the controls when Easy Unlock is selected, simply press and release the Control Lock button. To unlock the controls when Hard Unlock is selected, press and hold the Controlled Lock button for three seconds. The Remove Patient Alarm occurs when the ventilator is powered up in the ventilator checkout or ventilator maintenance modes to remind you to remove the patient from the ventilator before proceeding since the ventilator does not deliver gas during these tests. The ventilator checkout mode is used to check for correct operation of the displays and controls and to check the patient circuit for leaks. The ventilator maintenance mode is used by technical personnel to perform maintenance or calibration. To reset the remove patient alarm, press the alarm silence button twice. When the ventilator is first powered up, the transducers require up to 60 seconds of warm-up time before they will operate within their normal tolerances. During this warm-up period, the ventilator will not allow you to run the leak test or calibration. If you select an operation that is not available during the warm-up period, the warm-up message is displayed. When the warm-up period has expired, the message is removed. The following alarms occur infrequently. The defaults alarm, hardware faults alarm, no cal data alarm, and reset alarm. Please consult your operator's manual for more information. The LTV is designed to run on an external AC power source, an external battery, an external DC power source, or its internal battery. When the ventilator is connected to an external power source, the ventilator's internal battery is continuously charged and will reach full power status within five and a half hours. The charge status LED is illuminated green when the internal battery is completely charged. If the charge status LED is red or flashing yellow for more than one hour, or does not show a complete charge after 24 hours, the battery is defective and should be replaced. To run the ventilator from the Pulmonetic Systems AC power adapter, connect the power jack from the AC adapter to the power port on the left side of the ventilator. Connect the proper AC power cable, either a 110 or 220 volt plug, into the AC power adapter. Connect the 110 or 220 volt power cable to a suitable power source. Verify that the external power LED shows green or yellow. An optional external battery and cable is available from Pulmonetic Systems. The external battery pack includes a battery and fuse and is pre-wired with a locking quick connector. Please use caution. The external battery pack should only be connected to the LTV series ventilator using the Pulmonetic Systems X.